When Levi Strauss first invented denim jeans in the 1870s, they were a huge success and shortly after the denim jacket was born. I always wondered why there was such huge pockets in my vintage Levi's denim jackets on the inside and apparently it is because these were originally designed as workwear and the pockets were designed to hold tools. Anyway, denim jackets have stayed relevant in fashion for years and they're now a prominent part of our modern wardrobes. So I thought it was about time that we talked about how to style them. So today I'm gonna to be giving you countless examples of ways to style them, but I'm also gonna give suggestions for layering techniques, styling with accessories, what colors to wear with your denim jackets and also different shapes of denim jackets and how we can use the shapes to create balance and harmony in our outfits. I'll be demonstrating all of this with different outfits from my own wardrobe as well as finding outfit inspiration from from people with different styles online. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's start with shape because denim jackets can come in all shapes and forms. And personal preference is gonna play a huge part in what denim jacket you choose for your outfits and how you style them. But your overall body proportions can actually be changed depending on what jacket you wear. And when you change the outfit proportions, the overall harmony and balance of the outfit changes as well. So to explain this more clearly, let's just have a look at some examples. Firstly, we've got these two completely different denim jackets here. One is an oversized boxy shape and one is fitted and cropped. Obviously, they're both a completely different vibe, but they're also a different silhouette and length. And that's why I use them for completely different outfits. So let's look more closely. See here how the fitted jacket looks compared to the oversized jacket. The oversized jacket is longer and wider, and it's actually my preferred choice for this outfit. To me, it creates more overall balance. The fitted jacket looks a bit too stuffy considering my trousers are fitted at the hips and waist too. Now remember, this is just a personal preference. I would say though that this fitted jacket actually makes my legs look longer. Notice where the jacket ends in both outfits. The shorter jacket is giving the illusion of longer legs. In my case though, I'm not really in the market to be trying to make my legs look any longer, but it is something to think about if maybe that's something that you are trying to achieve in your outfits. So for me and this outfit, I feel more authentic in the oversized jacket. Both outfits still adhere to the rule of thirds. However, if I was to untuck my black vest top here, this outfit would suddenly be broken up into two halves and it wouldn't look as harmonious. In this next outfit, note again where the line is, where both jackets end. The fitted jacket helps to break my outfit up into three equal thirds, which is more harmonious. The rule of thirds is something I talk more about in my ebook, which will be available soon. And lastly, in terms of balance, I personally have narrow hips in comparison to my shoulders, which gives me that slight inverted triangle shape. So it's my personal preference to try to usually enhance my hips or define my waist so that I have more of an hourglass shape in my outfits. So when I'm wearing this big oversized denim jacket, the way that I can achieve that hourglass kind of shape is by choosing the right trousers. So let's look back to the first outfit. So I'm wearing a white jean with a wider leg at the bottom. If you now compare this to a straight or skinny jean with the same jacket, you can see how they both look really different. I personally prefer how it looks with the wider leg trouser because that gives me that overall hourglass shape with my outfit. These are all tiny things that you can think about when styling your denim jackets as well. With that all being said, rules are made to be broken and dressing rules definitely need to be taken with a grain of salt. For instance, if we have a look at this outfit here, I'm wearing an oversized dress with my oversized jacket and Technically, dressing rules say don't pair two oversized items with each other, but I personally love this outfit and I feel great in it. And that's the more important thing than following a rule. I'm all about trying to make fashion fun and really enjoying our wardrobes and the journey and stuff. So definitely don't feel like rules have to be the be all and end all. Okay, now let's talk about layering and accessories and give you a few more ideas. Here are a few options for layering with denim jackets. I loved the look of this image I found on Pinterest of this oversized jacket layered over a striped shirt. So I used it as inspiration to create my own outfit. Another layering idea is to throw your sweater over your shoulders on top of your denim jacket. There is even the option to try layering a blazer over your denim jacket if you like that look. Another way of layering a denim jacket is over a big hoodie and have some of that hood popping out. You can cuff the sleeves of your oversized jackets to show the underneath layer if you like that look as well. And you can also pop the shirts of your collar. This is going to look way better if you have a good quality shirt with a stiff structured collar compared to something that is of lower quality. 
You can also experiment with different styling options for your buttons. So one idea is to try just doing up the top button or doing up all of the buttons on your jacket so it looks more like a shirt. I think this works particularly well for a nice big oversized jacket. Remember that these are just really little things but they can make a really big overall difference in your look. In terms of accessories, well, this really does just come down to your own personal style. You could try neck scarves. I think neck scarves look really nice with denim jackets. You could try a lot of layering jewelry. I love big chunky jewelry with denim jackets. And then other things to think about, like your shoes can change the whole vibe of the outfit. So if you are going for that casual look and you want to pair it with trainers to make it more casual, or you might be trying to dress up your denim jacket and you want to pair it with a pair of small kitten heels or heel boots for that like contrasting elements so I really do think accessories do come down to your own personal style okay I've got myself a coffee let's lastly talk about color one of the greatest things about blue denim is that it actually goes with so many different things pairing denim over a printed dress in summer is always a good idea but if you want to get a little deeper with color combinations let's quickly take a look at the color wheel two really simple ways of using the color wheel to combine colors in your outfits include analogous color combinations and complementary color combinations so let's look at a few examples now an analogous color combination is the colors that sit next to each other on the color wheel. So the color that's sitting next to blue on the color wheel is green or purple. In these two examples here on the screen now, they combine the blue denim jacket with green, which is an analogous color combination. In terms of complementary colors, these are just the colors that are completely opposite each other on the color wheel. So opposite blue is orange, and I just absolutely love this outfit on the screen now, combining this denim jacket with this orange skirt. The jumper is a really dark blue, so it's also keeping in that color combination and then the skirt has that additional pattern of blue which ties into the rest of the outfit as well. So often when you're wearing a printed item, a brand is usually going to have a print on an item that is a harmonious color combination already. So that can give you some guidance as to what other colors to incorporate into your outfit. So that's why this skirt in this outfit is paired really nicely with that navy sweater and the denim jacket on top. Something to me that always looks really effortless and cool is double denim otherwise known as the Canadian tuxedo. Thank you guys for teaching me that. That is quite a cute little fact. If you allow yourself to open the door to double denim in your wardrobe, you open the door to so much more opportunity. I particularly love the look of dark double denim, especially at the moment. I think that like dark denim is really on trend and you can get away with really deep dark denim as being a little more dressy than something that's a bit lighter. And then also pairing a few really bright accessories with double denim is always such a good idea. It looks so cool and it makes such a nice statement. And there is always something really, really nice about a red lip with denim. So denim in nature is also classified as quite casual. So do remember that when you are styling your outfits. I often like to pair my denim with something that's a little more dressy, which is kind of contrasting the two elements of dressy and casual. I talk about how to use contrasting elements in a video that is up on the screen now. So if you wanna learn more about how to upgrade your outfits by using juxtaposition and contrast, then do click on that video there and I will see you over there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.